Hello YouTube and welcome to my YouTube channel Encounter Maths. And today we are going to talk about algebra. Yes, those tricky stuff X, Y, 1, 2, which you guys often find difficult to learn. But today I have a trick which can help you to solve those problems, uh, exponential problems, uh, in, in quite easy methods like with playing games and some marbles. Yes, some marbles can help you to solve exponential equations. Let's see how it's done. So, I have a sheet, a prepared question of set, a set of questions, which is like this. 2x, multi 2x raised to the power 2 multiplied by 3x raised to the power of 3. So, let's see how can we solve this with help of marbles. So, First, I have some cards. You can make this at home with the help of cardboard and just write the numbers. So, here's our equation. Let's represent the equations with the cards. So, 2x, we are just leaving the powers for a bit of time, multiplied by 3x squared. So, now, the part which is left is our power. So, we are going to represent the powers with the help of marbles. Okay. Power is 2. The power is 3. Okay. So, what does the law say? If the bases are the same, you have to add the exponents of the indices. So, but... First, leave the numbers for a bit of time for less confusion. Now, let's see. If they are both the same, let's put all the marbles together and count how many marbles are there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, it's raised to the power of 5. Now, let's bring the number numbers. So, 2 multiplied by 3, which therefore gives you... Six. So, our final answer is 6x raised to the power of 5. So, you can solve these equations with the help of marbles and easy methods, which can be great fun. But, a sum like this, 4y raised to the power of 3 multiplied by x raised to the power of 5. How to solve that with different variables? No problem. This can work on any sum like this. So, first let's represent the equation. Okay. The multiplication sign Okay, that's how now it's time for the powers. So, power is 3. The power is 5. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Let's put everything inside. So, this is our equation. Now, let's see the other part of the equation. x raised to the power of 5. We can also say it like this. 1x raised to the power of 5. It doesn't matter at all. So, first let's keep the number aside. Then, let's keep the variables aside. So, let's see here. Are they the same? No. So, what can you do? You cannot add the powers. What you can do is put them together and put their powers on top of them and now concentrate on the number. So, 5 multiplied by 1 is therefore 5. Okay. So, this is the fun method by which you can um, solve these equations with easy and cool tricks. Which is a fun method and a nice way to solve it. So you can have fun while playing and solve the equations. So for more games and fun things with mathematics and other things, you can subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit a like below.